Federal safety officials say the decision to burn chemicals spilled from a train going through East Palestine should not have happened. NTSB Chair Jennifer Hammondy testified to a U.S. Senate committee answering questions from Ohio Senator J.D. Vance about what he called extraordinary findings by the agency. Vance said he was told there were two bad options, a controlled burn or an uncontrolled explosion. The incident commander, East Palestine's fire chief, had less than 13 minutes to make a decision. Hammondy says the fire chief and Governor Mike DeWine were given incomplete information. But there was another option. Let it cool down. It was cooling down. We know for a fact that when that pressure relief device went off, that it had to have been above 185 degrees. Later, much later, over the course of 22 hours, that uh, tank car was cooling. That was just one of the five tankers carrying toxic vinyl chloride. Hamindi later testified the other four had temperatures between 64 and 69 degrees. She says the chemical shipper was on site and spoke to Norfolk Southern and its contractors, saying there was no justification for a vent and burn, but claims the chemical shipper didn't have a seat at the table when decisions were made. The fire chief is standing behind his decision, saying he did what he could with the li limited information that he had. Norfolk Southern also commented on today's testimony, releasing a statement saying in part, quote, the top priority of everyone involved was the safety of the community, as well as limiting the impact of the incident. To date, continuous environmental testing in coordination with and alongside U.S. and Ohio EPA has shown the air and drinking water in the community are safe.